Bonjour and welcome to a new unboxing video. Uh, and today we've got something from NECA. I mean, we, we do things from NECA from time to time. We do their uh, clothes figures like Mego style, like for example Elvira or some of the Carpenter movie figures. Uh, we've done also some 7 inches figures that they've done like the Flash Gordon, which are absolutely fantastic. But what we've never done is a 9 inch figure. And yes, this is the Nightmare Before Christmas. It's Jack Skellington and it's a 9 inch figure. So it is actually bigger than 8 inches and stuff. Well, of course it is bigger than 8 inches. But it's not the same scale. Um, but then again, I mean, I love, um, I, I love Jack Ceiling. I, jo I just love The Nightmare Before Christmas. So I thought, well, I would give it, uh, give it a try. And it's actually not even called an action figure. It's called an articulated drawing model with dynamic stance. So basically, it's supposed to help you draw. Uh, we're going to, 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 to open it and check it anyway, because I'm not convinced by that bit. But I think it's really a cool figure. So it's a blister and it's one of those um, resealable uh, blister, uh, even though we'll have to pop it open. Uh, you can either pop it open or you can actually uh, cut the outside. Usually you've got basically it's like it's half perforated here and, and you can normally cut it um, with scissors. I'll, I'll get scissors out just in case. Uh, but quite often you can actually pop those things up. Um, I will show you how. Hopefully it will work. And, uh, and that's it. So in the back you've got different versions of the figure. So it show the kind of articulation you get and I, I can see what they mean by a drawing model uh, because you can actually apparently pose this so so here you go let's uh, let's open it there's not much to see so if you want to pop it what you do is you slide your fingers there's always you know it's there's always a because it's like this so you slide your fingers and hopefully it will fall pop out. Uh, it doesn't always work. I mean, I'm actually quite surprised because it's working very well on this one. And then you just literally just open it, take the card out and uh, and you, go, you can access everything in the blister. The good thing about that kind of packaging is that you can actually reuse it. So if you are someone who likes to keep things in package, what you can do once your finish with opening is you can put it back with the figures. I, I didn't put back the figure, but you can put the figure and the blister card back in and you just pop in, put, pop in it, pop it in, back in and uh, oh god, <laughs> what a tongue twister. And then you have something that you can actually show like that. So it's, it's an option. Uh, so what do we have in there? We're going to take things out silical gel pack you know you know you you, you know the drill you're not supposed to eat those uh, so you either can recycle them what I I sometimes do is I, I use them um, to put in boxes of all the figures or toys uh, when I store them because then it actually keeps the humidity it's not there is no damp in the cardboard box uh, for, for the toy. So it can actually be very helpful uh, for that kind of thing. You can use it for many, many different things or you can just uh, chuck it away. Uh, but don't eat it. As I always say, it's not it's not candy, so you don't eat it. There is things that I really hate is when people are doing that kind of stupid thing with the packaging to hold it into place, meaning that part of it is at the front and part of it is at the back of the packaging. Uh, I, 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 I get why they're doing it, but if someone is not very careful and pulls uh, too quickly, they can actually damage the uh, the figure which is a bit of a shame so so here we go so now we're going to see what this Jack Skellington looks like so he does look uh, we're going to try and sort his costume so he, he's actually dressed this is actually a cloth uh, real cloth uh, 
and it is it has many articulations so let's see what articulation so it's got of course it does have the head here um it does have the shoulder so you can lift and it's on a rotating articulation you do have a double articulation here for the elbow and you do have the wrist articulation the uh, the hands are not articulated so let's see what we do we have yes there is a twist at the waist then you've got the leg it can go sideways and then you can actually do the knee the knee is rotating as well and you've got the feet that is articulated as well but now that we've done that and <laughs> actually i very surprised it's very very thin uh, that that's the thing to say about so let's first of all let's show you the figure because that's what you see it's very nice i mean it is jack skellington i mean you you can't really be very uh creative with jack skellington whatever you do jack skellington will look like jack skellington anyway it's one of those set characters so you do have the jacket here and you do have the trousers here. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a very nice figure. I'm just very curious. I want to see, yeah, because that's what I want. This is the, the articulations inside. So it's actually literally just a skeleton and it's not a proper, I would say body thing. Uh, so this is probably why they're calling that a drawing model because indeed, what you do is you are just articulating whatever articulation you want to use so it's it's a nice idea uh i wouldn't say that it's disappointing because it's not disappointing uh, uh however the question is that can be the problem with this can this actually stand without the base uh, so we're going to try and see if that works but I'm not quite sure it can no that's what I was thinking it, it it really can't so we're going to try and do the uh, the the base because we do have a base here so let's try and see how we can sort this fortunately the base is quite easy to work out and you do have a little uh, pins. pins. So I don't know where that goes. That should go here. So here you go. You do have uh, the the base here. Uh, before I do, we do have an accessory, which is a pumpkin head. And it does have a hole at the bottom so that you can actually try and put it on Jack Skellington. So now that we've got Jack Skellington ready, let's see what. So the uh, the base is multi articulated, so you can actually orient it the way you want. But we're going to do it the basic way. So let's see what we can do. Yes. It's a bit annoying if it can't stand on its own, uh, as I said. But then again, it's a very, very flimsy figure. So here you go. That's what the figure looks on the stand, which is really cool. So let's see if we can do fun things with with them. There you go. We're going to try and lift him with that without dropping the pumpkin so here you go that is what it's meant to be so it's really cool i mean i do like it i i think it's actually a very very cool figure um is it really that great i'm not sure it's a fun one it really is a fun one but as a toy I'm not sure it's really that great uh, as a display piece it really works and as a drawing model as it's advertised definitely works but then again in the drawing model 
who wants to do only Jack Skellington? That's the thing. Of course, you will have the articulation work for any kind of person, but it's still a bit of a shame. Nice, very, very nice figure. I'm very happy that I've got it. And uh, I've been shaking this and the pumpkin hasn't fallen, which is a good thing. And But here you go. Uh, um, it, it's nice. It's nice. It's out. Um, it's, it's out in the UK. It's out in the US. It's been out for a bit now. And it's really nice. But uh, it's not quite the kind of thing that I collect usually. So that why, that's why I, I may sound a bit disappointed. But... It's very cool. Let's admit it. It is really very, very, very cool. So here you go. Uh, NECA Jack Skellington drawing model uh, figure. Uh, nine inch tall. And it's available everywhere at the moment. Until it's not. Because, I mean, the problem with NECA is quite often it sells out very quickly. And I will speak to you again soon. Bye.